welcome to our episode of Super Reaction Bros. I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at new Simpsons for a movie we found to be... Well, he found to be... Alright. Um, this is the Everything Wrong with Tomb Raider, the 2018 movie. Um, I thought it was fine up until they just swapped out the magic for the... He enjoyed the first half and not the second half. The pra No, no, no. I enjoyed... And it's not like that. I enjoy 95% of this movie. The last 5% I hated. When it turns out it wasn't like supernatural or anything. Nope, it was just like, oh, it's just this deadly plague they had for me. No, it wasn't this magical, mystical thing. And for me, knowing, growing up with the Tomb Raider games, it wasn't always like that. There was, like, it was either ancient Atlantean technology, door, like, what was it, Asgardian ancient like weaponry mm -hmm. uh freaking ancient relics from the sky um demonic entities trying to take our world i think that was age of darkness um all of that it was more mystical and stuff like that That's even true. even the first and two two Raider films did that um the, the angelina jolie ones yeah. um but here it just it bugged me and i'm not saying it's a bad movie i never said it's a bad movie it's a fine movie I just kind of wish it continued with that. Hell, the original, the game this movie is based off of, it's still mystical supernatural shit. Like, and all of that. But they don't do that here, and it bugged the crap out of me. It really, really did. It didn't bug me at all. I actually enjoyed it. I actually, it bugged the crap out of me. I really liked it's it. Still, I really loved it. Um, I it just was... want to get this point across. I still liked the movie. I really did still like the movie. This is just like my own like nitpick with it. It was just that. I still thought it was a good movie. I still recommend people check it out for those looking for a good video game movie. I still thought it was good. Um, so let's just get straight to the point and uh, watch uh, Cinema Sins Everything Wrong with Tomb Raider. So here we go. Second to Logos, May 17th, 2009. Narration. According to legend, Himiko, the first queen of Japan, was a powerful sorceress who ruled her empire through dark magic. The problem with starting off your movie with research heavy note backstory narration is I feel I've walked into a college lecture instead of a movie. Yeah. Entombed beneath the mountains. We find out later she actually buried herself to save the world. But I wish someone yeah. would bury the ancient culture buries evil cliche a la Parallax so that 5,000 years from now they can ironically annoy audiences again when a distant relative of a forgotten screenwriter accidentally digs it up searching for the underwater city of Los Angeles. <laughs> Entombed beneath the mountains, I found a speck on an old map that no one else has. Why the f*** do these things always have to be in the mountains? Why can't the treasures ever be buried beneath something more exciting and unique? You're like a brothel in Texas. Texas. If one could come up with a logical reason for there being the best little whorehouse treasure hunt in Texas, I think people would be down. Also, a speck? What the f*** does that even mean? Other people have the same map, but mine has dirt on it. God, I'm way ahead of everyone else on finding the mystical ruler <laughs> born with a mythical death touch. I have to get there first. So I can write the word first on her tomb before some other noob does. <laughs> A million Dollar Baby 2, the Laura Cropping. Come on, Laura, tap out! This is just sparring, right? So they could stop this at any time. No need for Laura yeah. to almost run out of air or to tap out. Just stop f***ing fighting. The director said, let's have your character hold an apple with her mouth while tying her shoes. It'll make her look like even more of an asshole. If this delivery outfit <laughs> means we are in the premium Rush expanded universe, this is already the greatest video game movie ever made. That was a good movie. Very underrated. Under 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 for six and a half minutes in, and we're about to deal with this really uninteresting bike race, which makes me wonder, there will be Tomb Raidering at some point in this Tomb Raider movie, right? <laughs> That's a lot of people here for this fox hunt. Is this silly game a national pastime? They got at least 30 people out to play hardcore or bike tag and I can't even scrounge up five friends for a monthly poker night. <laughs> Is five seconds even enough for a head start to make this chase fair? In surviving the game, they at least gave iced tea the time it takes to eat a nice leaving <laughs> Wait a second there, Crafty Crafty. That can't be legal, can it? If the movie would offer some rules, maybe we would know if Fantastic Mrs. Fox here was actually clever or just a cheater, cheater, apple eater. And if it was legal, why is she getting back off? You have to Thank you! Game. Okay, I agree with that. I'm just not that kind of croft. But the central story element of this film is Lara not being sad long enough to sign a paper that nets her insane wealth. And this movie might as well be called Tomb Raider First World Problems. You gotta <laughs> sign in like everyone else. What's your name? Lara. Lara. Croft. Movie rebels in the I'm more important than you thought trope. 
Actually, my sister married a guy with a last name Wyndham, and every time they checked into a Wyndham hotel, this exact same thing happened. <laughs> In other news, I'm thinking about changing my last name to Chick fil A. Technically <laughs> speaking, you're meant to sign the papers first. Yes, but plot conveniently speaking, she didn't. How do you write with such beautiful writing and then completely miss on dotting the I? The one final is two letters off, and the one for first completely missed the entire word. Jeez, Croft, calm your tittles. My final destination. The first letter. Technically, the L would be the first letter on the tombstone, so why did she go for the R if that was the clue? Also, I love this posthumous puzzle as much as the next guy, but this one seems risky. Sure, Laura found the key, but all someone has to do is accidentally bump into this grave and reveal there's a lock there. This room seems awfully dust-free for not being open for seven years. And there's not a single light bulb that's out. True. Even turned off for seven years, that camera would be dead as a doornail. Unfortunately, if you're watching this tape, then... Uh... It means that I must be dead. If you're watching this tape, that means I'm dead, cliche. When your mother died, grief nearly destroyed me. I began searching the world, desperate for a, a hint of another realm. And even though I clearly love you, and Himiko was simply a chick who touched people and killed them, I felt that was good enough to abandon you for. I need you to burn <laughs> all my research on the Himiko project. If it was that important, why didn't Richard just burn it before he left? He clearly didn't need to take it with him. Sure. Sure. Obviously, we know the amulet here is worth something, but how does this woman know so quickly and without even closely inspecting it? Big smiles, nice and casual. Can we invite Nick Frost to the next poker night? <laughs> because verbalizing your bluff cover-ups is about as tell you tell <laughs> as you tell. tell. Please, just a tad bit more. You know how you could get a tad bit more, Laura? You could go sign a f***ing paper that gets you what <laughs> I can only assume as many millions. <laughs> For just such occasions. <laughs> Just such occasions. Except on this occasion, the coffee was clearly already within reach without using the pen, so why use it at all? Do it. Over there. Guy robbing Laura helpfully gives the name of the boat she needs to find to continue the adventure before robbing her. No. Tomb Raider of the Caribbean. <laughs> That's true. Endurance. Isn't that the exact boat she was looking for? Well, would you look at that. I guess good things do happen to lucky people in movies where the plot needs to keep moving forward. This is don't care anymore, okay? Movie pro tip. You can often judge the moviness of any movie by the proximity of any given character to a picture of important people to them at the exact moment it would be most emotionally necessary for them to see it. Uh, June 23rd. I may have found the next piece to the puzzle. I was willing to forgive the first two rounds of tape's position, but you had to go to the well one more time, didn't you? This is turning into diary reading the movie. That <clears throat> in the tomb, one must face the ordeals of Himiko. Is the first one only the penitent man shall pass? Because I might be able to help you out if it is. <laughs> I'm convinced that my progress is being monitored. I know them by name now. The Order of Trinity. They were known by another name, the Brotherhood of the Cruciform Sword. You know what? This movie is so unapologetically ripping off The Last Crusade and then add ten cents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh damn. The first thing they went for. <laughs> Not sure I can speak to how good of a captain Lou Ren is or isn't, but I'm confident in saying that neither he nor Lara are very good at abandoning ship. Over dramatic much moving, Jesus. She's literally just jumping into water, which the viewer had no doubt she will make it into. That's the way she's shot and scored would have you think she's trying to land on something very specific while rescuing a newborn baby from a lion's mouth. Oh my god. Polo, hey, we're just the alley crew who stands here in the middle of the storm of the century in case someone randomly washes ashore that we can conk over the head. We love to That's conk. true. I asked Jerry here if we could be called the conking crew. And he said, no, f***ing Jerry. A reef. You hit it. Thank God I found you. If I've learned anything from movies over the past couple of years, it's that if Boyd Crowder finds you, <laughs> it's, most it's definitely, it's definitely not a good thing. thing. Just if I remember, it's nice. I do like you. Come on, forgive me. Rude. Does every dad abandon their daughter and go off seeking treasure in this universe? Also, don't get me wrong. I'm 100% here for the Gogginazons. I'm so typecast by this point that he might as well legally change his middle name to Toro's Mustache. Is he an evil occupying force in a Hollywood production, but can't be sure if the audience actually knows how evil you are? Now, thanks to the miracle of slave labor, you can! Forced slave labor removes all doubt from audiences of all kinds <laughs> that you are truly the dirtiest bastard in the movie. And audiences yes. everywhere will rejoice in your eventual demise. They've been here close to seven years. How have they not come across this before? What exactly does having their hands tied up accomplish at this point? All it does is impede their ability to work. Matthias' crew have guns on them, and no one else has their hands tied. We know Matthias is not going to shoot Lara, so this scene holds about as much dramatic weight as an episode of Modern Family. Alright, get ready. Hey! Go. How much harder would it have been to actually add the words to run after get ready? Yeah. Get away from Laura at least having a clue what you were thinking. Also, how does he think taking out one guard would give Laura the ability to escape? Not like he's the only guy around with a gun. 
This guy doesn't miss, this guy's gun doesn't jam, and this magical pulley thing doesn't take this guy out. Oh! Laura dies before ever getting to raid her first tune. Jesus, these guys are terrible shots. Trinity clearly didn't go with the A crew for Project Himiko. <laughs> Oh no, what will she do? She's got nowhere to go except for that lucky-ass tree bridge that's crossing the ravine and just happens to be at this very spot where she ran. Yeah, just get those last couple of pointless shots off. Maybe Matthias will give you a gold star. For him. Later. Gold but star. You, sure you deadly ass try. drop off this waterfall, if not for yet another lucky-ass thing that's going to save Lara that hmm. probably shouldn't even be here considering how deteriorated it is. Jesus, it's like the island knew what the plot of this movie was going to be before Lara got here. After all that craziness with the plane moving around, it's amazing that not only did this parachute end up directly above her, but with the logo face out so we could all know what it was. The entire plane sequence is awesome and is a great action yeah. centerpiece for this film. However, I'm not saying she would necessarily die after all this, but I am saying she would definitely be dead. In a Tomb Raider movie that has legitimately good action and fighting sequences, this pitch black fight scene where it's impossible to make out what's going on seems really out of place. Hey, it's Richard! What a surprise! Said no one Watch this movie, yeah. Also, how would Richard and Matthias not run into each other this entire time? How big is this island? No, 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 just ignore it. We'll go away. In the battle of 2018 scenes involving a father <laughs> thinking his daughter, who he hasn't seen in years, is a hallucination, Tomb Raider beats A Wrinkle in Time by a mile. But you still made me think about A Wrinkle in Time, and f*** that movie hard. Wow. Damn. If he thinks she's a hallucination, why would this gesture make a difference? Not as if his mind couldn't have made that up, too. He's terrible. I'm not going anywhere. Too bad this wasn't your answer seven years ago. A lot of this could have been avoided. But I realized she'd never let me leave. Let Laura send this one. What are you talking about? Who's she? What part of the burn or my papers did you not understand? I mean, I'll give the guy a bit of a pass, since he's been cooped up in this cave for almost seven years. But considering she found the island at all, how did you not already realize she had the research with her? Alicia Vikander apparently went to the Tom Cruise school of running toward things. <laughs> and seemed to be drawn to using a bow and arrow. Lara Croft, Katniss Everdeen, Legolas. No one will be seated during the people exchanging ineffective gunfire portion of the movie. I wish I would have known that you were alive all these years. Maybe take a walk every now and then. Seriously, this island can't be that big. I should come all this way to see you die. I'll do it. Honestly, the only thing surprising about this decision is that it took so long for Lara to make it. If you don't believe in the supernatural, what's the fear in opening the door? A sneezing fit? Later we're going to find out that Himiko buried herself in the mountains to save the world. So why did she leave a puzzle to solve to get back in? Why would they want that to is find true. if they made it dark? That's a good cool? point. This is not a drill, people. 80 freaking minutes into the movie and we have officially started raiding a tomb. All hands on deck. It's go time, kids. Arachnus CGIS. Should have seen the look on your face. Oh. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade with 37% more spear-induced vasectomies. Oh! Designed to keep people out. That was put there to keep people in. And how exactly did you deduce that? Because from where I'm sitting, it just looks like it was designed to shish kebab anyone who steps foot on it. Pray to survive the faces of Himiko. We're getting closer. Thanks, McNulty. <laughs> Oh, Not even five minutes ago, your buddy got anal speared after someone stepped on a stone trigger, and you're still stomping around willy-nilly in this tomb? Whatever's about to happen, you kind of deserve it, man. The keyhole! We need a key! How do you know it's not an ancient glory hole? Seriously, Lauren, if you get hit in the head with a <laughs> lovely mummy penis, that's on you. Mummy <laughs> 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 wheels. I believe that Richard is aware of all the Japanese witch rituals, but this is a lot to throw on an audience with less than 30 minutes left in your movie. Also, I have a question. Since the floor is collapsing beneath them while they look for the key to this door, I'm wondering, if they fail, does the floor reconstruct itself for the next people who want to stupidly raid this tomb? Or would this seal Himiko behind these walls forever? Which is what should have happened in the first place. The number of tiles we've seen and heard falling should equate to no more tiles for them to be standing on anymore. Last one! Yellow! I would have removed a thousand sins if the yellow key fell into the chasm and everyone shrugged and said, well, you can't do <laughs> them all. Please just enter it in there. protecting the world. By still making it possible to find her if you wanted to unleash a plague on the world. <sighs> See? Smoke and mirrors. So let me get this straight. Queen Deathstrike here sacrificed herself so her people could live, and for some reason built a device in her coffin just to prank a future explorer with a classic jump scare? What the f Japan? She was a carrier. <laughs> she was immune. How do you contain a disease that turns people into walking death machines that fast? Especially in ancient Japan. Seems true. like Queen Himiko and her Ditus touch would have eliminated the entire population before anyone knew what happened. I just need to take a very small piece of you. I realize we're probably saving this for a big reveal or something, but 
the fact that our main bad guy is just a workhorse for someone else with unknown motives means we have no investment in understanding why any of this is important, or why we might not want it to happen. Bad guys don't need a ton of backstory, but they do need at least some motive, right? Commence unspoken but somehow understood plan. Now! <laughs> oh, and they turn into zombies, because of course they do. I guess I should say Lara survives this, but it's clear that she's as immortal as a minion after everything that's happened to her prior. So let's just tack on 20 Choices! Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> Archaeological ninja warrior. I'm done for. I'm infected. For how long, though? Because the first red shirt decomposed within seconds after his hand showed symptoms. Does the disease discriminate between the bad guys and the long-lost fathers who need one final goodbye with <laughs> yeah. the who should have just burned everything in the first place and left good enough alone? Watching Lara go back through the collapsible floor room makes you wonder how these assholes ever thought they were going to bring Himiko back. It's even crazier when you think about how they would have had to get back over this ladder at the Chasm of Souls as well. Honestly, this is a big troll job by Himiko, because I don't think anyone could have gotten her body back outside once they went through her ordeals. You're not saving anyone. Trinity is everywhere. Oh, right, Trinity. Because that's something I'm supposed to care about, apparently. Even though yeah. I know as much about them as I do the Bolshoi Ballet. You're not getting out of here. No! Jeez, Laura, drama queen much? As athletic as she has proven to be, why doesn't she just make a run for it and try to kick it off from the other side before he's up? Man, Richard is giving his daughter a very short time frame to take down Matthias and get the hell out of there. Nope. The nope. Above, <laughs> the just no. Nope. This isn't like the scene where someone outruns a fireball as the building explodes. This is something where gravity should have a say in what happens. Can someone help me understand a reason why the woman who just said boardrooms and business deals? I'm just not that kind of craft. Is now flipping through a detailed list of company owned assets. And luckily for franchise prospects, she finds the one company in a sea of companies that actually matter for the big reveal. Oh, good. It's like Lara Croft is James Bond now, and Trinity is her specter. Or maybe even her syndicate. Question is, why does Tomb Raider need an all-encompassing evil organization to drive the plots of their movies? Which should Ask the video game series. The only person that I get to talk to is on the other end of this phone. It's hilarious that Richard figured out that this mystery woman was behind the Order of the Trinity. That a private investigator saw her casually walking down the street one day and couldn't get a picture of her face so that Lara could have this Kobayashi copy cup reveal at the end of the movie. So, Anna is apparently part of Panta or Trinity or whatever the hell, the company that's been behind the scenes this whole time, and I'm not sure I could even care a microscopic amount of less. The movie ended, then it didn't, so that we could get one more glimpse of Nick Frost being wasted in the film. <laughs> that's not wrong. I've abandoned my child! I've abandoned my child! What movie is that from? Here we go. But they don't know that we know what they're doing. But basically, no one else has a better idea. It'll be an adventure. Adventure. Burn sacred. Every Jedi craves not these things. Since you burned the rest of my research, you'll never find it. About do you think my son would be that stupid? Yeah, that's right! Last Crusade! Just a bit outside. Just a bit outside. I'm a little lady. It's the little lady from Pasadena. Oh, okay, so... Okay, so the general consensus is a lot of Last Crusade nods. Great fighting, choreo fighting scenes and stuff like that. Yeah, great fighting scenes. The biggest problem is there's so much of the gaming nod nod wink wink that people who don't play the games don't understand it. Like the Trinity's things. Oh, what's worse is for me, for us playing it, oh, for me is that I knew going in that Anna was going to, when they said Anna, I'm like, when they showed her pretty much, I'm like, you're, you're, you're the bad guy. You're evil. You're, yeah, it's like, you're evil. I know you're evil. Just quit it. As soon as it, that's the biggest problem I had with that aspect. Um, yeah, it's weird how like they had the tomb set for you to go in, but she was trying to keep people out. So why would she want people to come in? It just what it makes no sense. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff wrong with it, but like we said, it's I, we still enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. We still really enjoyed it. Same here. Yeah. Sorry if I kept nodding in and out, just having, I have had a long weekend so far, so sorry if I nodded in and out, as if you were paying attention to me, I kept nodding in and out, sorry, but I, I, been, I did keep up with it pretty much, so. Yeah, um, was there any, anything you wanted to bring up that you saw here? No, no, I thought, um, you know, he, yeah, like you said, pretty much, that's what the consensus was for this, um, 
pretty much CinemaSins uh, video. That's what it was mainly. It's just how it was set up, uh, how it was uh, portrayed with certain scenes, things like that. So I, I agree with majority of what they said. Yeah, I think for the most part, there's a lot of good to this movie, but there's also stuff that keep it back from being like absolutely amazing and one of the best video game movies of all time. Can Which we still are still trying to get to at this point. Yeah. So, other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button if you want to talk some more about stuff like this. Comment down below if you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about Cinema Sins, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of this trailer. Uh, not trailer, but uh, Cinema Sins. Uh, do you agree with what they said? Did you disagree in this? You loved it overall, especially as a Tomb Raider fan, things like that. I mean, we are Tomb Raider fans, but of course, where we get, well, yeah, we do get a little bit picky, especially when it comes to the films and what we want in the film. But overall, you know, if you're a Tomb Raider fan and you still enjoyed and loved the film, then some put down what you loved about it, why you enjoyed it, and things like that. And uh, put down what you thought of our reaction overall, but most importantly, thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very Tomb Raider filled episode of SRB. See you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out your previous reactions, as well as our other shows, click the playlist down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can check us out on Twitter, as well as Stardust, at Super React Bros.